they're on schedule after that run, getting it right down there on the doorstep. Maybe. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Carry on Johnson with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Lions take it right down and score on the opening drive. Well, these guys scored touchdown after touchdown in that win a week ago. So how do they come out this week? Same way. They got that momentum going to touchdown on the opening drive. A fusion, kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you go make a play on the football. And Prater's kick is on the money. It's good. And the lead moves to 10 zip. These kickers now used to be that a 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration, now seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny? When we prepare for a game, when you look at the backgrounds of the... And Gano's kick is right through. And they get themselves on the board here. It's 10 to 3. So chalk that down as an eight-play drive capped with a field goal. Yeah, as a friend of mine used to say, they were moving and grooving for a while, but they couldn't keep the momentum going enough to get a touchdown out of it. From the gun, here's Newton. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. He was looking for Macklin that time. Well, this is simply a great read by a defensive back. It's third and ten, so he sits right on where the yard to gain marker is, knows it's going to be a route around that distance, makes his read, breaks on the football, and makes a terrific play. Coachman in Orlando, he'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. On second down, here's Stafford. And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. In for the score. And the Lions add on to their lead. Brandon, my man, just one sentence for that one. Clinic. And that's what they've done. They lead the league in points per game this season. But it... Again, it's Stafford. And he takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. Golden. A shotgun snap for Newton. Looking for Funches, but it's intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. And they get the football. They'll set up shop at their own 49-yard line. Well, NFL quarterbacks have learned the hard way. You're not going to get Rich thrown against this guy. He's definitely too good. And this is now his second interception of the ball game. And if I'm running the offense, I've got to tell my guys, you've got to go work on the other corner. Look out. And Prater's kick is on the money. It's good. And that'll push the lead from 24 up to 27. So three field goals that he's hit. Now this last one helps him stretch out the lead. He's been solid, hasn't he? And he lives up to the adage that every offensive coach... Stafford. The twop. Golden Tate's gonna go. Touchdown, Detroit. Golden Tate, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Lions have got it on cruise control. So another score there, and often you talk about the three phases of the game. Defense, offense, special teams. It's been a clean sweep in this one, hasn't it? It certainly has. They've been pretty dominant throughout this game. And privately, the head NFL nowadays makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun, isn't it? <laughs> and what a really nice game right there. Jeremy Macklin, touchdown, Carolina. Jeremy Macklin, his second touchdown on the season. And the Panthers, they're able to draw a bit closer. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions and I'd hear nine from the receivers, that meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. <laughs> that was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. They'll try and run for it. Here's Johnson. 
And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. And for them, this train, it just keeps rolling, doesn't it? Well on their way to yet another victory. Yeah, it's almost a runaway, isn't it? And you just wonder how anyone could stop this. they got full momentum going, full confidence going. But it's not just their own confidence that is leading them. It's the lack of confidence against their opponents now. Tackle them almost on the spot. That means they have to run extra plays, harder to move them. And look at this. Cam Newton intercepted a third time. Picked up by the linebacker, Jared Davis. This spot in the fourth quarter with that deficit had to throw the football. Unfortunately, there's the risk of big turnover. And you know you're going to be throwing against nickel, dime, all sorts of exotic defenses, but you have to do it anyway. Ordinarily, you might want to run the football a little bit, try and get them out of it. But as you noted, this time of the game, this point on the clock, had to throw it.